I'm going to prepare your milk. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Little E got butterflies in her tummy, knowing what was coming later that night. While she was trying to decide which of her stuffed animals would get to sleep with her that night, Mommy crept outside Little E's door. As she peered in on her adorable little sissy, she was delighted to see her cuddled up on the floor with her toys. Mommy had gone to great lengths to make her feel as little as possible. Seeing her precious little girl so at peace warmed her heart. Mommy returned with a bottle of warm milk. Little E bounced on the floor excitedly and gave her the biggest smile. Mommy gracefully crossed the room, looking lovingly at her little one. There had been some difficulty in the beginning, but finally, everything had fallen into place. Her little girl was here. Her little sissy knelt sweetly before her, and she was never going to let her go. Little E looked up with glee, admiring the beautiful woman who'd taken her in. No one had ever treated her so well. She was forever in her debt for the openness and kindness she had shown her. As Mommy sat down on the oversized recliner in the corner of the room, she smiled and gently called for little E to join her. She happily crawled across the pink plush carpet, then graciously nestled her head in Mommy's lap, gazing up into her gentle eyes. Mommy truly loved this little one that she had waited so long for. She cradled her head and played with her hair. Mommy is very, very pleased with you, little one. You've adjusted to life with me so well. I'm very proud of all the things you've done. I couldn't be happier. Comments like this made little E's heart race. She loved the reassurance that mommy provided. Oftentimes, she felt like a burden. But her kind and loving words brought her back from the cliff of worry. Would you like to snuggle closer, my little princess? Her eyes fluttered open. Little E saw that Mommy had parted her robe, revealing her smooth, soft skin. Mommy lifted her little one's head into position and supported her in her loving arms. Little E instinctively sought and found what she had long been waiting for. Latching gently, she began to suckle from Mommy's supple breast. There was nothing in the world that could compare to the intimate feeling of nursing from her Mommy. She craved this level of closeness constantly, and Mommy was more than willing to oblige. As she slipped deeper and deeper into little space, Mommy began her nightly routine. She reached under her baby girl, sliding her finger inside her wet diaper. Little E snuggled closer, knowing she was soon to be changed. At the last possible moment, before sleep overtakes her, Mommy pulled her nipple from Little E's mouth and carried her easily to the changing table. She made sure to buckle little E to the table 
so she doesn't roll off, as little babies do, while she grabs a fresh diaper, cream, powder, and wipes. Little E rubbed her eyes sleepily while Mommy hummed a gentle tune. As she removes her diaper, Mommy whispers lovingly to her perfect little princess. Do you know what you are? You are my perfect little princess. I love you so much and I am never letting go. You will be my sissy forever. You are not a man, but my precious baby girl. You love your mommy so much and will always be a good little girl, won't you? Soon, Little E is in her crib, covered by her pretty pink comforter. Mommy places her milk between her lips and turns out the light. The nightlight comes to life, and the -the glow-in-the-dark stars and moon illuminate the ceiling. In the blink of an eye, the milk is gone, and Little E is off to dreamland, where her dreams are almost as sweet as her new life with mommy. The end.